So here we are folks, yes it's uh, Whitehall Gardens, had to be didn't it, <coughs> as Whitehall is just up there, <laughs> beyond these buildings, I, I reckon this is the back of the Ministry of Defence, you've got New Scotland Yard up further up there, further up the Victorian Bankment where we are here, uh, now there's a lot of people been jumping in in front of these uh, these spray mechanisms, you know, these water sprays. I feel like doing it myself, but it might blow my camera up, so I won't be doing that. <laughs> but I'll have this. Is, I'm knackered now, so this is going to be my last stint. And I'm heading home. Noisy cars. Well, I think they're my motorbikes this time. You know, my hearing is not very brilliant these days, but with a bit of tinnitus and can't afford to get my ears arranged and stuff. But certainly these loud noises, you know, they really irritate me. But uh, anyways, I digress. Secret squirrel. Walking back into the sun, I'll probably duck back into the shade. Yes. Well, I'll come a little way along here, the sun's probably making a bad picture anyway. But uh, now I'm going to duck back round into the shade. I see the screen better. Right? That's Ungerford Bridge, obviously, I just come off of that. Channing Cross Station. Yes, I'm keeping out of the sun because it does rather tire you when I've been in it all afternoon, more or less. Two shady areas on the south bank there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. coming here just to have a look at these lovely flower beds. Nice. And what kind of tree is that? A bit like a Salvador Dali thing, isn't it, with the crutches? <laughs> Any botanists about? I haven't got a clue what the flowers are or nothing. Yes, I'm quite certain this is a back of the Ministry of Defence. <coughs> Anyone for tennis? There's lots of statues in here, but I can't be pestered. I'm going around and checking them all out now. Let's have a nose in here. The terrace at the Royal Horse Guards are oh, right. <laughs> of course, on the other side there, Whitehall, it is the Oscars parade and stuff, isn't it? But this, the whole building, the big building, is uh, <coughs> it's part of the Ministry of Defence. Which, when you get round onto Whitehall, on the other side there, it's a bit like being in Stasiland, you know? So. Which is where we are these days anyway, isn't it? In it. Good here, isn't it? Cool, I could just dive in front of them showers. All jolly fun. This is English. <laughs> no, so I walk up in New Scotland Yard and then I'll call it a day. I keep saying that. So 
them at the back of all the statues. Oh no, I might be wrong because there's another garden on the other side, which is definitely the Ministry of Defence, <laughs> behind the Ministry of Defence. So I'll, I'll walk through there, the statue there and who it is, or what it is. Quite frankly, I couldn't give a damn. walk fast because this, uh, this video is uh, only a 20 minute White Hall Gardens. I think it's more or less in focus. You can freeze frame if you want to have a look at that. Yes, here we are. Got me job for you wrong. You see, you soon forget, don't you? Yeah, this is Oscar's Avenue. You can see the Oscar's Parade is up over there. That's Whitehall up there. You can see the Oscar's Parade there. You can walk through there and get into uh, St James's Park and down and head up towards the Mall, etc. Here across this road. God, how long we got left? Oh, we've still got some time left. When you have the traffic appears from nowhere when you want to get across the road. So I've walked up and down both sides of the river today. Here I am now on the Victoria Embankment. Heading back, God, I might as well go up to Charing Cross Station, up to, uh, yeah, Charing Cross Station, which is up there. I don't know why it's, I know, sorry, no, I'm getting mixed up now. I meant back towards Westminster, aren't I? Charing Cross Station's behind me. It's, it's near Trafalgar Square. Just on the bottom of the strand, basically. Just trying to work out, yeah, but... Yeah, the embankment station is the nearest one to here, so... I'll walk back along there when I'm done. And here we are! Stasiland! Stasiland! That's New Scotland Yard up ahead there. Can't see it very well from here. There's a sign there. I don't think you can see the triangular sign rotating. But uh, was it last year? I think it was last year I was down here and just stopped oil over here. And there was a girl with a paint spray. It was yellow if I remember rightly. And she sprayed that sign. And the cops stood and watched her before they arrested her, you know. It's, that's not control opposition, you know. I did several films actually on, on Whitehall. You stop it down on the street, you know. There's a walkway that goes through here around the side of the Ministry of Defence, which takes you through to Whitehall, right up to down on the street where the protest pen is. Oh, I might as well stroll down there, see what's occurring. I know there's, uh, there's other people in there now. The geezers, the geezer to Riyadh, he spent a lot of time in there, but he doesn't need it anymore. He's more or less done what he wanted to do as far as a pen goes. It's a shame that the stage he built had to go though. He was offering it to anybody else who wanted it. But he was duped into... Well, he wanted to get arrested anyway, but while he was in custody, the, the council ducked in and took the stage down and the police, they nicked everything he had in there, which he even took his car. So, but, you know, People, people slag him off, but an activist needs, need, needs funding, you know. I take my hat off to the guy, myself, I don't care what anybody says, because I've known him about 10 years now and I know he's a good guy. He's one of the good guys, 
even though he comes across very blunt and people call him he's evasive etc but he doesn't suffer fools gladly that's for sure so yeah made it through to here Scotland Yard New Scotland Yard let's have a close look at that sign so that bit of then I'll walk down to the protest pen and see what's happening there. It's not, it's not as good as what it was when Giza was there. I was hoping he'd be there still. But back in February, was it, he was uh, arrested and, as I say, they took, took his stage down. He was becoming a bit of a tourist you know, attraction, really. But the place, he had all the... Uh, <coughs> the uh, yellow card stuff on boards there, it was quite, you know, it didn't look a mess. You see what it looks like now, I bet it's pretty messy now, because they've got a lot of messy people in there. But, uh, yeah, I remember photographing some of the armed police on these steps here. I took some photographs of them in Downing Street, and they said, what do you want to photograph us here for? You've just been photographing us over there. I said, well, yeah, but I'm photographing it through bars and so, so, so the pose for me and everything was great. Got some good photographs. Yeah, the bit dodgy when I said, oh, what's them weapons about and all that, you know. But, uh, they said, oh, we're terrorist police. I thought, oh, right, terrorist police. Don't see any terrorists around here. I mean, you got you got your old domestic terrorists, which is a, they could class me as one of them, I guess, couldn't they? <laughs> Little old me. Me a terrorist? Nay, nee, lad. Never. Nay, nee, Mr. Wilkes. Nay. Nee. What have we got on here? I've still got seven minutes. This seems to last longer sometimes. See what's happening around here. Got my arms aching now. Might as well walk at Westminster Station now and probably closer to that than anywhere else now and down here. That's a Downing Street over the way. Ministry of Defence, Stasiland. And here we are on Whitehall. Another day on Whitehall. Another Friday on Whitehall. That's Downing Street. You can see the gun cops over there. Oh, nice bunch of blokes, actually. I talked to them and that, you know, it's not a big deal. And look at this, look what they've done to them. Not a war. Well, I'll agree with that, but it's all just parrot and stuff, you know, really. Well, I can't disagree with that. That was even by the shelter in here. He was never allowed that kind of thing, really. He had a busy boat in 2020 and he had to take it down. Morning, afternoon. It's a meeting place, isn't it? I'll give it that. Is that the same guy? Is he riding around the block? Sorry? <laughs> yeah, I was just talking to myself. So is that the same guy? I think he's riding around, around oh, the block. Yeah. The bloody noise. What's all this about? Uh... This is the uh, Downing Street protest pen. Oh, is it? Oh, and right. anybody can go in there and protest. You can go in if you want. Oh, get out, yeah. Shout about, you know, what they're doing to your grandma or whatever, you know. Uh, they listen anyway, do they? <laughs> What's the point, anyway? <laughs> Well, anyway, have a good day. Yeah, you too. <laughs> well, I've got four minutes left on this, so I'll stroll back along to. Yeah, 
Yes, I'll agree with that as well. So now I was down here last year, the years I was in here, and there uh, was also the Ethiopian god. There were the, the genocide in that particular, I forget the name of the tribe, or well, it's not a tribe anymore, it's a, a lot of them, you know. <laughs> uh, but bad things go on, the Iranians were here as well. So there was three lots in this pen at the time. People were saying, oh, it's Giza's pen, it, didn't, it wasn't his pen at all. You know, he was just in the pen. Simple as that. But anyway, they're doing their best, aren't they? I led on down where the, uh, the Westminster Tube is just here. So I've come round in one big massive circle, basically. Start at Westminster Tube. And they added it on the clock wise, but there you go. <laughs> This will be running out at some point, so about three minutes, I think. Can't see the screen very well. I'll just walk along here and there. A lot of police down here. Is there something going to be going on? I don't know. I know the EU, uh, we went back in the EU campaign, it was up here on the lights. A hell of a lot. They're just armless. That's Metropolitan Police. There's probably something occurring here. There's always something occurring here, but I've had enough. I'm on my way back to West London. I'm going to take it easy tonight, I'm going to chill out. People are always rushing around here though, you know. And you have chilled out a lot since I've retired. Here we are. Red Lion. I'll have to go in and have a pint one day. I used to use it for the lower lot. <laughs> but this is where Mr. Suriani out down here to get away from it. <laughs> oh, you're gonna laugh. There's always one. Those bloody buses get in the way, don't they? Well, he's Westminster Station. I mean, I came out round the corner on this near Westminster Bridge, and then I went up over the bridge. But this is a subway here, yeah. and I'm going to go down the subway. No, I won't. Let's have a look. What have we got? About 50 seconds. I'll look down the subway. If anybody who's interested, there are toilets down this subway. But you go, you go left. But I'm going right to get into the tube station. Westminster Abbey over there. Houses of Parliament there. Underground here. Oh, it's a bit cooler down here and a nice breeze. Heading for the Westminster.